Well, what's going on? Rich Demiro here, Rich on Tech, here in Cupertino, just fresh off the announcement for the brand new iPhone 11 Pro. Here they are. Uh, this is the smaller model, the 5.8 inch screen. You can tell it's the Pro model because you flip it over to the back and look at that new matte finish, plus you've got three lenses on the back. This is the bigger one with a 6.5 inch screen. This is the Max. Also has the matte finish on the back with the three lenses. So let me show you some of the new features of these devices. So first off, you've got a great screen. I mean, this is like the best looking screen I've seen on an iPhone, but realistically, the camera is where you're gonna wanna live on this thing because you've got great new camera tricks. So I told you there's three lenses, right? So you've got your wide, you've got your telephoto, and you've got your ultra wide. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so you're here on your camera, you normally have your regular lens like that, but look on the sides now. You kind of get a little image of what you could be taking a picture of with the ultra wide. So if I tap out here, boom, now I get the full view. And I still have my regular shot and my two times optical zoom. And you can also do this and zoom in, zoom out if you want to get that kind of slider feel there. So that's really cool. Uh, now let me show you here on the front. So there's actually uh, two new ways to take a picture. Let me get out of there. Okay, so there's two new ways to take a picture. So let's say you're taking a picture and next thing you want to do is record some video for Instagram. Normally, you'd have to go over here, switch to that, and then go over here, take a picture. Now watch, you can just slide your finger here, hold down, and now you're recording video instantly. If you want to take hands-free video, just slide over and it's locked. You can still take your pictures and to stop, you just press stop. Now, where did burst mode go, right? Because you're like, well, wait, what about burst mode? Burst mode is still in there, watch this. So if you want to do burst mode, all you have to do is slide over to the left and you've got burst mode. So now, this is literally an Instagram taking machine all from that one viewfinder. All right, now let me show you what's new on the front facing camera because that is upgraded as well. So let's flip over to the front facing camera. Say hi to producer Megan, what's up? Thanks for shooting this. Uh, so you see the front facing camera, you've got your typical shot. Now watch what happens when I rotate the camera. Automatically, oh, it pops out so you can fit more of your friends in the shot. So you wanna see that again? So there it is, your standard. You see how I'm like in the middle of the picture? Now watch, boom, it zooms out so you can fit more friends in your photo there. So that's really cool as well. And for the first time, you got 4K on the front facing camera and you also have slow motion on the front facing. So let's see here. Oh, here we go. That would be me at a rock concert, right? So let's see what that looks like on the slow motion. Oh yeah, you couldn't do that with last year's model. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna have to burn that picture. All right, so how much are we talking for the price on these things? Uh, for the bigger model, it's gonna be $10.99 and for the uh, smaller model, the standard size model, that's gonna be $9.99. Pre-orders start on this Friday, which I have no idea what day it is. It's the 10th, I think that's like, I don't know what day it is, but this Friday, whatever the Friday from the September 10th is, and then the phones are in stores on September 20th. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions about the iPhone 11 Pro, leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them. I'm Rich Demiro, richontech.tv. Thanks for watching, see ya.